Uh, this is example number four from the chapter circle. The question says that two circles intersect at two different points A and B, as you know that two, two circles can intersect at the most two different point and it is A and B as for the figure where AC and BD are the diameters, sorry, not AC, yeah, that's AD and AC, right? These are the diameters of the circle, as you can see in the figure, what we have to prove that this point B lies on DC. You know that this point B will lie on DC if you can prove that DBC is a line, right? In fact, we have to prove this DBC as collinear and that is possible only when you can prove that DBC are collinear and that is possible when you prove this DBC as a line. So we are going to use the concepts that is angle in a semicircle is right angle. Whenever an angle is subtended, as you can see, this is a semicircle. It is subtending an angle, right? So this angle, so subtended is 90 degree. Now, as, as you can see in the first part here for the first circle, that is the left one, here AD is the diameter. So since AD is a diameter, this is... AD is a diameter here. So an angle in a, using a, this concepts, angle in a semicircle is right angle. So this angle will be 90 degree. So we can write this is angle A, B, D is equal to 90 degree. And so it gives this as the reason, angle in a semicircle. Now on the other side, as you can see here, AC is also the diameter of the circle here AC, that is a diameter of the circle. Therefore, this angle, that is uh, angle ABD, that is angle ABD will also, ABC, sorry, this is angle ABC is also equal to 90 degree. Now, if I add these two angles, what do we get? That is angle ABD plus angle ABC is equal to 90 plus 90. Now, if I club these two angles, that means if I add, we are getting angle DBC, which is equal to 180 degree. And from the property of linear pair, I can say, therefore, DBC is a line. And if DBC is a line, it implies that B lies on DC. B lies on DC. So this is what we had to prove and we proved it.